I'm Janet Miranda with News and Entertainment. We're here at this gorgeous NoHo7 theater here in Hollywood, California. We're here celebrating the premiere of so many amazing films. There are 31 films opening here today, including Toy Story 4 and Child's Play, and 29 short, remarkable films that also have an opportunity to actually get entered for the Oscars, for the Academy Awards. How amazing is that? That this awesome place is giving a platform for filmmakers. It feels like the dream is just so close to these filmmakers. You know, you're just one step away and we're so excited to be here today, including the filmmakers at RNF's Maturing Youth, which is actually screening here today. And not only is this an opportunity for the filmmaker that's just beginning, this is also opportunities for filmmakers and Broadway producers and authors of amazing creations of illustration and poetry and story and wow, there's just so much talent in there tonight. I can't wait to get in there and interview these guys. We'll have an opportunity to talk to Derek Quick of Four Walt Distribution Company. So guys, stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Hi guys, I'm Janet Miranda coming in with news and entertainment here at the Lam Lee NoHo 7 Theater in Hollywood, California. I'm here with Sean A. Kaufman. Um, we are here actually going to be watching the film that was produced by RNF, Maturing Youth. Maturing Youth. Don't ask me, she came out of nowhere. It's like the thin air spat her back out at me. Sadie? The hell brought you back? Sadie came back with a kid, Mom. How do I know who she slept with? I mean, maybe the kid's mine, maybe he's not. His name is Roger Jr. Not ready to be a father. I mean, honestly, take a real good look. Do I, do I look anywhere man enough to be a father? Best Actor winner, Sean A. Kaufman. This has been going great for me since you left. Don't you understand that? This isn't fair. He's your son! Can't you bring him back to your mama in Oklahoma? Both of you live there. Why did you bring him back? He's your son! Step up for once in your life and be something. Get out! Best Actress winner, Kim Paris. I don't care about your stupid cartoon. I care about having a bed for my child to sleep in. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for Junior. He needs shelter from his father. Don't turn me blue with your boo hoo hoo, okay? After all this time? Are we in or are we out? On June 21st. <laughs> Junior! Come on, Ma, you know that I need you to help me on this. It can be fatal in some of the more unfortunate cases. There's a grown man who's nothing short of a disgrace. I'd like you to meet your son. 25 years from now. Maturing youth. In cinemas June 21st. Not rated. Tickets available at maturingyouth.com. How does it feel to be here out in California? This feels like a dream coming true. <laughs> I, mean, I can't even tell you. So tell us a little bit about Rhythm and Flow and how you got into the film with Maturing Youth. Mm -hmm. What was the process like to be cast? Um, it was, you know, traditional sort of casting process for me. I found the audition on Backstage.com. They, I submitted for it. They sent me the script. Uh, and then it was a few days later, I came in, did my audition. And then, you know, you don't hear anything for a little while, so you get scared, you get bummed out, you forget about it, and then all of a sudden you get another email, call back. So I had my call back, and then that evening I got the email that I was cast. Now, this was this like one of your first films at a film school? As a matter of fact, it was the very first project I auditioned for <laughs> after film school. Uh, well, after acting school, yeah. After acting school? Yeah. And do tell the world, how amazing did you feel when you got that phone call? Oh my goodness. Uh, I mean, if this feels like a dream coming true, that was just like, that was the affirmation that what I was doing was the right thing and that I was on the right track. Um, I was just so excited to be working on anything at all and really exercising that acting muscle that I was just jazzed. And then to play Roger in Maturing Youth, um, you know, it, it's a leading role for someone who doesn't really come across as like 
a Hollywood leading man. Who said? So exactly. exactly. <laughs> That's right. Who said? No, but we're here changing the so, world, yeah. you know, with news and entertainment and your rhythm and flow maturing youth has shown the world, has platforms all over the world. I mean, you've actually won an award with this film. I have. And how yeah. how did that feel? I mean, your first film out the door, you win an award. <laughs> WTH for all of them actors out there like myself who've been like trying to push for 20 years and no awards <laughs> yet. We have Sean A. Kaufman that just came out of school, and here he is, an award. It's, uh, you know, it, it's... Timing. It's indescribable. It's timing. It's it's the right place, the right time. It's the right people, the right time. It's the right script, the right time. It's luck meets preparation. Luck meets preparation. What did you do to prepare for your role? Uh, I can tell you what I didn't do. I didn't do what, what, what Roger does. I had to just observe others, um, if you catch my drift. But um, are you talking about the little extra thing that Roger does? Roger has some vices. That he, indul <laughs> he has indulgences um, that I don't share. But uh, he, I, I watch cartoons. Roger watches cartoons. I love myself some cartoons. What's your favorite um, cartoon? I mean, I got to give a shout out to Toy Story today, since Toy Story 4 yes. is also premiering at the Lamely, um, or I guess everywhere nationwide. Go Toy Story. Um, but yeah, I'm, I. I love those. I love Hayao Miyazaki films, mm -hmm. so like Howl's Moving Castle mm -hmm. or Spirited yeah. Away, things like that. Um, all sorts of Disney movies. I just anything animated. I love. To, I love. Um, so maybe there's well. some voiceover animation work for you later in the future. Well, that would be fantastic. So Sean, when did you discover that you wanted to be an actor? Probably just as a kid at home doing impressions of like my mom and dad. With you my can brother. do an impression of your mom. I, I mean, we got to see this. Can you please? <laughs> please. Oh, my God. News and Entertainment needs to show Sean A. Kaufman from <laughs> oh. RNF's Maturing Youth doing oh. an impression of his mother. Are you ready? On action. Oh, I got to think of one. Ah. Sean! <laughs> Sean! Make your bed! She'd do something like that. I don't know. I told you. She's a. Uh... She's the real actress, huh? She's, she's the real drama <laughs> queen in the family. The bed's not made, and it's like a production, so. And your dad? You know? Impression of him? Oh, please. Uh, yeah, so uh, what's this say here? You, your mother told me you didn't make the bed. So there's a lot so, of issues with the bed, huh? There's a lot. Of, <laughs> it's either that or, you know, walking the dogs. Oh, who didn't clean up the dog poop in the backyard, huh? That kind of thing. You know? So how long were you, like, giving impressions of your folks before you decided that you wanted to do something else? Uh, when they told me that I should just, you know, if I'm going to be doing such good impressions, I should, you know, be getting paid for it. So. And when did you decide to pursue that? I decided seriously to pursue acting uh, at the end of my college career. I was studying, uh, I was a biology major at Dartmouth, and I was doing improv comedy the whole four years. Um, I'm in this great group called the Dog Day Players, and my senior year, I did a friend's play during the summer going into senior year, and basically introduced myself to the theater department. They were like, where have you been? And then I picked up a theater minor that year, um, worked with a, one of my favorite professors ever, Jamie Horton and Carol Dunn, and then um, we did a play called The Liar, which is a translaptation of a P.A. Corner play by the same name. Um, and that was my senior winter at Dartmouth, and it just took off from there. I knew I had to act because you have to wake up and do what you love so that you don't feel like you're going to work. Mm -hmm. So I, I very much subscribe to that ideology that if you do what you love every day, you, you never work a day in your life. Speaking of doing what you love, what was your favorite character to ever play in your history of acting so far? Um, wow. You mean other than Roger? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it could be Roger. It could be Roger. He's up there. Um, I do have another film coming out very soon called Dwellers, The Curse of Pastor Stokes. That one was a really fun one to play as well. Um, he's just as heroic as Roger, but in a different way. Um, he's the Baptist pastor of a church, and his congregants are becoming possessed by demons. And Whoa. <laughs> spiritual yeah. warfare. Yeah, exactly. Uh, amazing. So that was that one was really fun as well. But also the, the the character that I played in The Liar was like 
this old man who just wanted to be a grandpa and that was just as fun and, and transformative for me so and how did it feel to transform into someone who's so much older than yourself uh, well luckily it didn't hurt my back or my knees or anything like that <laughs> it was just some makeup but uh, it was really um, heartwarming I mean, this is the one career that not only do we travel in time, like eras in time, but we also travel in time as individuals. Yeah. And just that transformation and really to feel yourself in your own body at like 60, 70 years old, yeah. that's an experience. It, it sure is. And you don't even really notice it until you're like in the character's actual shoes. You know, in his case, his name is Geraint. He has a cane. He's got these heeled shoes and a little it looks like a pilgrim's hat because of the time uh, and setting so once you get into character they gave me a wig they gave me you know makeup to whiten my beard and everything you really feel you put on a voice you know and you really feel like the character amazing so yeah. what is your process or method for acting well so after college I went to the Maggie Flanagan studio in New York City uh, it's a Meisner Technique program. Um, I studied under Charlie Sandlin. So I'm a Meisner trained actor. Um, so you take things personally. <laughs> <laughs> so I take things personally? Yes, you take things personally. <laughs> I feel so you do take things yeah. personally. Yes, I do take and things And impossible personally. activity, etc. Exactly. So high five on the Meisner. Thank That's you. That's awesome. Yeah. So, Sean, if people want to find you, where can they locate Sean A. Kaufman? You can find Sean A. Kaufman at Sean Z91, S E A N Z I E 91, on Instagram and on Facebook. Um, Amazing. On my website, SeanAKaufman.com. And, uh, and speaking of websites, got me a line. yes, and speaking of websites, guys, don't forget to check us out at the links below. Like, and subscribe and also please join us by looking at our amazing actors in maturing youth they could find some information on maturing youth on your page Absolutely. and they can also find some more information about today's event and other events at www.newsandentertainment.com maturingyouth.com rnfentertainment.com, all the dot coms. I almost did that for you, but you did it so good. <laughs> you just had to have it. So guys, stay tuned. You you know know for if you want the scoop on news and you want all the juicy stuff, you know, you know, you know. subscribe, follow us. The links are below. You know. Please be sure to check us out at News and Entertainment on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, on YouTube, and you can check us out at newsandentertainment.com for all the breaking news and entertainment.